and welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video. My name is Nadia and I am the founder and creator of Full Style Ink. <laughs> Hello stylers. Happy, happy new year. Happy 24. How are we doing? How are we processing? How are we healing? I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. I have honestly missed you guys. <sighs> it's been unreal. It's been a moment since I had time to sit down and talk to you guys. And I wanted to start this year off. Um, not my first video of the year, but official, official video of the year of this girl. Um, with a fashion ranking and analysis of RuPaul Drag Race contestant Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Yes. <laughs> Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I wanted to call her Dr. Silky Nutmeg Ganache because I know Rue sometimes affectionately would change her name, call her Revan, call her doc Doctor. So Silky Nutmeg Ganache, um, one of my favorite drag queens on RuPaul. Um, and I just wanted to break down some of her looks, some of the looks that I love, some looks I'm like, girl, I don't know what she was doing, but you're living. So I love that for you. And I just want to get into it. And I know that these videos have been highly, you know, favorite. Um, and I've also got a request to continue and requests for certain queens. So I, I wanted to continue this because I really, really do like this. I am a huge fan of RuPaul, of Drag Race. And so I wanted to share my obsession with Drag Race with you guys. So let's get into it. So for those of you who don't know what Drag Race is and who RuPaul is, RuPaul is the biggest drag queen superstar ever. Um, rising themselves up from the literal streets in the 1980s and 90s to become this mega star to have a reality show on VH1, MTV, they keep going back and forth on who's doing what to have this empire of drag race where there's a competition show where the queens, amateur drag queens, compete to become the next drag race superstar. Same thing you would get for like Project One Way with fashion designers, American Idol with singers, The Voice, you get it, competition show. So, Drag Race is a reality show which a group of talented drag queens competes in a challenge to impress the host, the host and creator, RuPaul. Um, for cash, so in America, in the U.S., because found out other countries, they don't win money. In the U.S., they win a cash prize along with the crown and the title of being America's next drag superstar. Each... Each episode consists of a main challenge, usually some form of performance or fashion design, sometimes both. And the queens then participate in a theme runway show. Queens then go on to walk in a theme runway show known as a category, and uh, which is declared, which afterwards one is declared the winner of that week. While two are announced in the bottom and up for elimination, where those two battle it out in a link sync for your life, but it's a chance to stay another week. I absolutely love Drag Race. Um, I haven't always been a fan of competition shows. I didn't really watch them a lot growing up. But when I got into Project One Way, um, and then I got into, no, back that up. I got into cooking competition shows. I got into watching like old school Food Network baking challenge competitions where they used to make those big elaborate baking cakes and the chocolatiers and the and the sugar artist then i got into project one way and here we are so i want to get into this week's this video's drag queen silky nutmeg ganache um who is a beautiful brown black plus size drag queen that has stolen the nation arts she first appeared she first appeared in season 11 of RuPaul Drag Race here in the U.S. Um, so you can not make a nod, she's the age 33, I believe at the time of me filming this, and goes by the pronouns she, her, within drag. So I will continue to refer to Suki as she and her because I will be referring to them in drag. So, yes. All right, let's get into it. 
first look. Okay, let's go back. Now, I'm going to be swatching back and forth between my notes and the tear maker. Reviewing, commenting, breaking on actual looks that they wore either one in an actual challenge, like an actual, no, they wore in an actual category, like walking the wrong way, whether it was a ball category or it was just a category or a look that they wore in their entry. So when they first appeared on the show, because that's always the entry looks, entry looks are usually from the us, infamous and synonymous with the style and the essence of who that girl is as well as some of their lip sync looks. Um, some seasons have lip syncs extravaganza. Um, when you get into the all-star seasons, queens are sometimes allowed to switch, change into a lip sync look so they can better prepare for the lip sync. And so I will be referring to those. So starting off here, I am going to take it back. I'm going to break a wall because I, I have to talk about this. And I'm going to talk about their promo look for season i'm going to talk about her promo look for season 11 of drag race i absolutely love this promo look it is bold it is graphic it is a very neon pop art barbie aesthetic type of styling um which fits so much in line to the aesthetic of what RuPaul is doing with the promos and how there's these larger than life um, Barbies with these larger than life um, like props and cosmetics. They have this fun, funky pencil skirt and like this turquoise teal with this yellow piping and details. And then this nice little bralette situation. And I'm loving the look. I'm loving what it's already been um, showcased. And so for this one... Sim this is simple. Simple. We're starting off simple. We're starting off clean. It's fun. It's a promo look. I'm going, I'm, I'm going to put her in tens across the board. I mean, no, no. I'm going to put her in it's a look. It's not tens across the board. It's not blowing my mind. It's not revolutionary. But also, it's a nice, clean, subtle look. Okay, so let's get into it. First up is their entry look. Ooh, girl. The entry look, I'm not going to lie, the entry look is rough. The entry look is very, not rough, it's very cool, girl. It's very much, ooh, okay. It's very much cool, girl. It's very much, um, girl, I just came in, I got dressed, I went to lunch. It's very casual, it's very good. But the, the, the thing that marks Silky in this look is this girl pulls out a cookie from her bra and eats. It said, I'm here to eat up the competition. Girl, bye. Oh. But also at the same time, it's not giving. It's not giving. I mean, like it's fun. It's cool. It's, it's kind of 80s with the silhouette of the pants, the high-waisted like hair and balloon pants with this cute little bra, with the, with, with the bralette and like the jacket, the little bolo crop jacket that kind of matches. It's giving a signature in this big curly hair. It's like, it's like giving 80s. So I'm not going to put it in like, where's the fashion? I'm going to put it in, you know, it was a I'm look though. It, in, you know, it was a it look though. Because it was a choice was a and a choice was, a choice was made. Choice Next was. up again. Why my computer keep doing that? I want to make sure I go in order. So if you see me jumping around, it's because I'm trying to go in order. So next up that day after they performed, because I think they did like a extravaganza uh, talent show, they had a legendary look and this was like a legendary copycat. I am going to pull up the reference of what, no, 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 no. This is their legendary drag. Is it their legendary drag or legendary look alike? I'm going to correct myself. I call myself going through and having notes to get it together, but I post out of Hello, stylist. Editing Nadia here. So I misspoke. Um, I forgot because I didn't go back and watch the full season 11 that her, the first runway challenge was a design challenge. They really <laughs> had them in a tizzy. First design challenge where they had to use materials from other legendary drag queens inspired by legendary drag queens 
drag. So different materials and colors and prints and fabrics that they would use that you would see in their drag. And Silk um, was given selected um, Peppermint, who I love, who is on the list. Because that is a big woman. Um, I mean, in height, she's not. But you get it. Um, Peppermint, the drag queen Peppermint. Um, that was the box that she was was given this challenge. And so that is what her look is representing of the drag queen peppermint, but with signature with silky signature style. So yeah, I had to come in and uh, <laughs> clarify that. I sh I I, I should have went back and rewatched that episode one more time. So this is legendary. Now I don't know for certain if this is legendary drag or this is legendary. Their legendary drag, like the queen's legendary drag, like what what is their signature drag? Or is this more of a inspired by a legendary? Because that's something they do do. They do do sometimes it's like a rule look alike or another or somebody else, another celebrity. I cannot remember, but that does not matter because I do not like this look. <laughs> I do not like this look. It's all, oh, it's very. Uh, maybe if I remember the style reference, the inf the inspiration for it, I would like it more, but I don't like it. It's giving mermaid. She's holding a candy peppermint bag. Um, I don't like this look. I really don't like this look. I don't. Where's the fashion though? Where's the fashion? Because I don't get it. It's the sequence. Like, like um, nothing. Um, <laughs> I don't like this look. And that is going to also go for this next look. This next look is called Zodiac or What's Your Sign. I believe the category is either Zodiac or What's Your Sign. Oh my God, I keep swiping up. Um, And it appears to be this uh, cat suit, this full on printed cat suit with this beautiful seafoam green um almost like a it's possibly organza fabric that creates this nice little rough and flow up the sides of the body and onto the arms of the sleeves it looks gorgeous in a sense like i don't i don't hate it and then the the look itself is i guess justified goes up into because the makeup is um very dramatic and bold and then she has these horns that go up into the hair i believe she's a tortoise taurus i believe this is a taurus i believe i'm not into zodiacs i'm not one of them girls so i don't know but i'm almost positive this is taurus because she also has these very hood hoof like furry white boots and then it's furry right on the cuffs of the jumpsuit, of the cat suit. I like this and then I don't like this. Like, I like parts of it. I like the almost crystal sheer organza on the sides. But I don't like that it's a cat suit. And I like the makeup and the hair. But I'm not a fan of the fuzzy fur on the sleeves and parts of it I like parts of it I don't so I'm gonna put this in what's the category again if my computer will let me do that no wrong category I'm gonna put this in what's the category again no no it's a look though It's a look, though. I had to think about that because I, I don't want to hate it. I don't want to hate it. I want to like it, but I don't like it. Next is Fringe, and I believe there was some cute quirky. Next up is Fringe, and it is this gorgeous, beautiful, fun, purpley, black, silvery dress. This cocktail dress that is, like, dripped in this rhinestone sequence beaded fringe 
that is something that you want to dance and twirl in. It's so cute, so fun. I absolutely love this look. It's full body fringe. Most people think of fringe, you think like a fringe skirt or fringe on a jacket or your fringe in your hair. She gave you a full fringe dress. I would have went further with it. I would have gave the girls a little Tina Turner fringe, but I love this. I'm going to put this in tens across the board. It is our first tens across the board look and I'm excited. Again, I am jumping around. I'm not going in order. I am going in my own very order. Next up. Is the category was something orange and it is this beautiful orange gown now the thing about this orange gown it's not just a simple orange gown this is a beaded embellished orange fit fitted um, almost mermaid or what is that Trump not a tr trumpet I'm not a trumpet <sighs> I'm gonna say mermaid gown with this nice V neckline these embellished straps um in this beautiful almost sherbet orange that has nice little dimensions and texturated with the beading and the embellishment and these nice big red little cherries or raindrops throughout it that flows into this gorgeous long mermaid gown with a bit of a tail it is elegant it is sophisticated it is glamour i will wear this was something you wear on a red carpet this is something you wear to a, a gala a ball i absolutely love this i'm going to put her wrong category i'm going to put her in tens across it's a gorgeous gown and silky looks absolutely phenomenal in it it it's uh it's breath take ink next up is trick or treat um, look, so we're giving a little Halloween, we're giving a little costume, we're giving a little hocus pocus type vibes. And she goes for more of a cutesy, fun trick or treat. Um, I believe she is a unicorn or a pony. Yeah, a unicorn. And again, a, this, this cat suit with these pink cutouts along the legs and in the, on the V-neck. And we have these silvery so beaded case, rhinestone fringes all across the body. Now, I think this is cute. This is it cute. This is cute. This is cute. So I I don't have a great love for it. I'm not mad at it. I think the little horns in her hair and the little unicorn on her forehead is absolutely a darling. It's adorable. It's fun. It gets the job done. And so, for that case, I'm going to put it in, it's a look, though. It's a look, though. Actually, no. What was the category then? Because it was trick or treat. And I'm not giving, I'm not, you know, I'm not really feeling, I don't even, I don't know how that fits. When I think of trick or treat, I think of something else. I think of this look that's about to come up right now, and that is MILF. This MILF look, okay, this, this look, this look. This look, this red lacquer, it could be a, I, it's, it's looking like red lacquer, but it, it honestly could be like a, um, not a leather, what is that? A P, uh, PVC um, type of dress, this gorgeously constructed gown that is fitted, tied to the, not, what is that? Nylon spandex. Spandex that has a double condensation um, I, um, gown that is fitted to the body that hugs her and it goes down and flares out into this lighter red fabric and gives her that um, mermaid cut. She is, again, she loves horns. Um, she has these apparatuses attached to the gown on the shoulders. The The look goes up into the makeup and it's all bloody and like a slightly gory but glamour into this hair that goes up into these horns. And it's, it, it's, it's giving dark. It's giving, you know, unsaved. <laughs> It's giving, which is which is funny because it literally is used to be uh it's, it's giving all type of things. It's giving the category. It's giving what needs to be done. Um, 
I, I'm not gonna give it tens across the boards. I'm gonna give it what's the category again? Because I don't know how this fits into the category. Because I don't know the proper category for this season. And I wish I could have a better quality of some of these photos of some of these looks. That is the real issue. Not the fact that I didn't rewatch this season. The fact that she deleted this stuff off her thing. We're gonna go on to this gold look, this gold jumpsuit. It's giving first lady of the church. <laughs> <laughs> she has this gold jumpsuit, this flare gold jumpsuit that goes up. It is off. There is no sleeves, but there's a little cuff. There's like this silvery cross that goes across of it. She has the very church mother fan because she just because she's been praying, she's been praising the Lord in this hot, unair conditioned and building, and she's giving them glory as she sits down and fans herself and prepares for the word of the reading of the word. I love this look. I don't know why. I don't know why, maybe because it sticks, it's something that I personally identify with as a, a black girl that grew up in a black church, but this look, <laughs> I love this look. It's saved, it's saved and sanctified, and I'm here for it. Next up is a design challenge, and I love this episode because it's one of my favorite episodes. I love the design challenges of RuPaul. They, these girls lose their mind, like they don't, some, like they lose their mind like they don't know what's coming. They lose their mind. Like, I didn't know the design challenge was coming. Like, I didn't know I know how, I needed to know how to sew, which is crazy to me. Because every season, there are design challenges. And some seasons, there are two. And yet, they still lose their minds. So, this look is, uh, the category was called Farm to Table. I believe Silky picked up a bunch of burlap bags, like the cornmeal burlap sack bags. And then a bunch of either corn or... Some type of seeds and some type of seeding. And she made the structure of this pencil skirt. She knows her silhouette and her body structure. So she knows what looks good on her. So she made a pencil skirt with a little crop bustier bralette situation. And did like a cape and a hat and a bag. She showed out. She showed out. Ten across the board. She showed out. That she ate. She ate. I don't think she was in the top that challenge. I think she was safe. I can't remember. But she ate. She ate. She did. Because <laughs> some people. <laughs> some people made some choices with their looks now. And she. She said y'all not going to catch me out here like this. Next up is this uh, sequence look. The category was something with sequence. And she gives us a full body sequence gown. But. Not only is the color of this sequence gown gorgeous, but what comes with it is again that crystally organza fabric that's been ruffled upon itself to create this coat, this drama that she has, that she wears as she comes on and she just beautifully like shrugs off and oh, bitch, oh, gorgeous, my lord, oh, so cute, so cute. So fabulous. Again, Silk. I like when Silk either does funny for me. This is my, this is me. This is me. I love when she does like um, campy fashion um, in a sense or just high glam. Just high glam. She does glam so damn good because this is good. D that look is a good look. Next up is the face kini challenge. Now, for those of you who don't know, a face kini is a almost like a balaclava, balac a balaclava where it covers your whole face, but it leaves out your lips and your eyes. So they call it a face kini because it's almost like if you was wearing like a bikini, you have like the boobs and the briefs. So like the top of the the bikini, the bottom of the bikini, but it's your face. So they call it a face. Kini. So the challenge is for them to incorporate a face kini somewhere into their fashion. And yes, she comes out. She just don't see this. This is what I mean, but I, I love camp. She not only gives us a face kini, she elevates it, takes it, a, takes it higher, take it, take it to the stars, takes it to heaven. Okay. Takes it to heaven and gives us a theme that is out of sight. She comes out as a darn fly. Literally scuffling around. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Carrying fly spray. Like, 
Bugs Black Killer Spray. Like full on black leather latex um, um, look with the pencil skirt again and this, and this structural jacket um, with these gloves and this face bikini hood that goes up into this flat antenna head. I, I mean dumb, dumb. And I think Rue laughs hysterically. <laughs> because what tens because uh, I would put it in what's the category girl because I don't know how you you heard face kitty and that's what you got I don't understand how you did that but honestly whatever live you're living I'm loving we're laughing next up is one of my favorite looks of hers in this season now I know for right now, it seems like Tens Across the Board is dominating the game. But I promise you, this one is my favorite in that entire season because I am realizing that I am this girl. This is me and this is who I want to be, okay, especially in the summer. Next is Cat's Hands. And she has this beautiful, very ethereal, giving you goddess, dripping. Ha, huh? she got money. She travels. What? This beautiful gold beigey caftan that has this beautiful detail along the neckline, the front of the caftan, and along the trim. You can tell that it is something kind of orangey underneath, adding it as like just like a slip layer because this fabric used for the caftan is very sheer. But what happens is that the look continues up into this beautiful wig. That has like this bulbous round shape. She looks like a genie. She looks like the lamp that the genie was in. The genie is coming out of the lamp. It is gore. Gore. It is gorgeous. So cute. Oh my god, I love that look. I want it. I want. I want the look. I want to redo the look. Or I love the makeover challenges, the, the family resemblance makeover challenges. Some of my favorite challenges on the overall series besides like the design challenges and the snatch game. Um, but I can't remember if this was like a super fan. I can't remember. But she is paired with this cute little, this cute little Asian girl. And they do a good job. They get into like this, these, this 70s, this 70s disco, um, almost like bond girl five Suki has a big afro the nice cute bodysuit with the fringe and this metallic in this boot and old girl has her hair down with a little um scarf wrapped around the top of the head and this jumpsuit with the fur leg with the flare legs and like it's very fun it's very cute very fun it's cute. I'm gonna put it in what was the category again because not because I don't know what the category was, but because it was just such a good look. But it, it it's not tens across the board for me, but it's definitely like but it's it's definitely more than it's a look though. Like it's it's cute, it's fashion. I understand the style references, I see where they was going from. It's not James Bond, Austin Powers. That's the word I was looking for. That's the movie and the reference I was looking for. It's giving very Austin Powers. Okay, so um, uh, we are going into the finale. Like, this is the finale. And this is your best drag. This is, the category is best drag. And Silky hit us with another gown. She gives us another glamour. She gives us another glamour. And it is this beautiful, sheer illusion gown with the sweetheart neckline. This strapless, sheer illusion gown, sweetheart neckline that has these pink and light pink and white stripes that kind of flow and curve and hug across the body. The way that this was cut was beautiful. It comes up on the breast. And like, I wish the sheer matchness actually matched her skin skin tone because it would look like the, those stripes and things were literally painted on her. It dynamite. But I see what was going on. I love it. I like it. And it get it, and the gown barely like kisses the ground. It's absolutely gorgeous. Tens across the board. Like I said, I love when Suki does glamour. I love when she gives us a glam look. Wrong place, child. And this reunion look is very cute. She's dressed like a like a like a drum. Um, what's them people called? Majorettes? Not majorettes. The drum majors, the the drum line majors, like she was on, like she was in band because 
she's a musician and ah, oh, it's so cute. It is red sequins bodysuit with the little cape jacket in the back and the oh, it's so cute. Oh, ah, uh, that was no category. There was no category, but it was cute. I will put her in what was the category again? Because there was none.